Hello, Team Easy Dating. Today's topic, how to kiss a man. And I want to open up with a story. So I was on a second date and um, we first went to go watch a soccer game. And then I took her to a tapas restaurant um, in Playa del Rey, California. So a few blocks from the beach. And so we go to tapas. Uh, we have a pretty good time. And then I'm walking her back to my car. And we had a, a gentle kiss on the first date. Um, but I was ready to, to kiss and see, you know, what the sparks were and, you know, where we were at. So we're walking back to my car. And we're going up this pretty steep hill to get to my car. And I decide to go in front of her and kind of stop her tracks. And then I go in for a kiss, which she receives. And, you know, how to kiss a man. I mean, to start, I think everyone will agree that it should be gentle at first and maybe there's no tongue and you kind of just get in there and you give a little peck to see if everything's okay and <laughs> to steal from my movie hitch uh for men watching i do like the 90 10 rule where you go 90 percent of the way and make sure she's receptive before you go 100 percent and just steal a kiss like make sure she wants to receive you so go there get close and what's also great about the 90-10 rule, and women can do this too, is when you get there and you stop, like that's the most exciting time. Because it's like, well, what's going to happen? Are we going to make the next 10%? Or, And you're building the sexual tension. So there's nothing wrong with even staying there for three, five seconds and seeing who kind of gives in first and showing off your, your female prowess of just staying there. And that's hot. All right, so now in the story, so I, I get in there, I'm 90 tenning, I'm she's receptive, I give a little peck. I'm like, cool, all right, we're pecking. Now I'm wanting to see kind of if we could dial this up a little bit. So I turn my head and I open my lips a little bit and I gently, you know, take my tongue out to see if she wants to meet me in the middle with her tongue. And I realize that she wants nothing to do with putting her tongue against mine. So she's barely opening her lips and kissing me. And so I'm like, all right, let me just keep experimenting. So I keep trying and offering. And of course, I don't want to slobber her face. So I don't make any contact with her lips or anything with my tongue. But normally when you're French kissing, right, your tongues meet in the middle and they caress each other. So I realize that she doesn't want to do that. Um, or doesn't believe in it, whatever. All I can tell you is it was not a great kiss for me. And I think most people are used to a French kiss at this point. So how to kiss a man is I want to do some advanced stuff. I think everyone on here knows how to kiss. I want to talk about how we can kind of take our, our female power back and be this seductress and this temptress that really I think every confident woman wants to be because it's like you almost have power over a man and you've got him now he's yours and he doesn't want anyone else because you've got him under your spell and I think that's what we're all trying to accomplish with a kiss right so what you can do is get really close to him and and hold that space for a while and see if he jumps. And let's say he does jump. And then you kiss for a little bit. Now, maybe you go up to his lips. And you go. Or maybe you whisper in his ear. Or you get really close to him. And you say, hold on. And he goes, what? And now maybe you decide to gently caress and suck on the very bottom right part of his lip. And you say, don't move. If he tries to kiss, you'd be like, stop. Just sit still. And now you go on the bottom part of his lip and you inch across and you just gently suck and make your way across. And maybe you use your tongue to gently lick the bottom part of his tongue. So you're doing this and making your way across his lip and playing with him. And now maybe you give him a kiss on the whole lip and now you pull back and see what his response is. Or maybe you decide to kiss his cheek or his neck and then you make your way back to his mouth for a kiss again. Now, we built up this tension now, and he's like, ooh, that feels really good. And as a man, I can tell you, 
if a woman sucks on the bottom part of your lip or the top or decides to do whatever, it's amazing. And we're starting to get excited. And what we want to do is grab you and have you. But you're keeping them at bay. You're, you're in control. You're the sexy temptress. So it's not allowed yet. So he wants to slam on the gas pedal and you're being very sexy and just gently applying the brake like, not yet, honey. We're still building this up and we're still having fun. I'm still playing with you. And that's what a kiss should be. It should be playful. It should be sexy. It should be fun. And if you want to be in the driver's seat, which is kind of fun occasionally, I think this is exciting. Actually, I know this is exciting. And every man is going to just want more. And so imagine if you decide to take an opportunity to do this instead of constantly allowing the man to be the driver. Why not? Why can't you take over? And I think this is so exciting. Um, so I want you to try this if you've never done this. And I'm sure most of you have done something like this. But what about doing it in the early stages of dating when you're in the first five dates? This is going to make the guy excited and want to do more. And when we're pushing him on the sexual level, well, that's also going to push him on the emotional level. Because he's like, all right, the sexual thing's exciting. And then if you keep drawing him back to, well, if you're not ready to have sex yet, well, what about the emotional side? Are we going to build this relationship? Do we have the same values? If we can come back to all that, and he's excited about the sexual stuff, I mean, we've got a guy that's like just enamored by you. So it's surprising how powerful a kiss can be and that can show the spark and then that's going to drive getting to know the emotional, the similar um, interests, the similar values. So anyway, go try that out. Um, if you're not subscribed to my channel, I'm Mike Goldstein of Easy Dating Coach. Hop in there, go subscribe. Make sure you hit the bell so that you get notifications um, when my videos are happening. But thank you for watching. I love you. Go have amazing, sexy, wonderful kisses and enjoy the crap out of them. Um, love all of you. Bye.